Hey everybody, this is Graham McBain. I'm going to show you how to build a NACHA compliant ACH file new using our node library. Let's go ahead. Uh, we're right here on the project. Uh, this should be linked from the blog post that you're watching. Uh, but the first thing I want to do before we jump into actually building out this file is just show you a few quick things about how H ACH files are constructed. First, you'll notice this little detail here. A few things to check out. Uh, at the beginning and end of this uh, file structure, you've got a file header record and a file control record. And then for each actual batch of um, entries, there's a batch header record and a batch control record. And then in between that, you're going to notice we've got our entry detail record here. What this is to show you is that um, these are kind of constructed like HTML tags. There's an opening and a closing, that header and control records. Um, and then the meat of the data that you're actually sending through is going to be part of a PPP entry detail record. PPP is uh, not just speak or ACH speak for a file that goes to an individual. So there's a different term if you're going to be sending it from institution to institution, but in our case, we're, we're pretending this is a payroll file. Uh, so that's why this is going to be a PPD record. Let's also take a quick look at this actual, this payroll file to see what the code is going to be looking like. So we've got some TypeScript here. Um, we're going to notice a few things. So first, the file header here, um, that's got things like immediate origin. This is uh, the bank that it's coming from, your bank name, that kind of stuff. And then in our batch header, this is where we uh, specify things like the company name and um, a little bit more information. This is where you see this PPD file. That's the, the class code of this type of file. Um, and then the entry detail record, this is the very specific part about which employee you're paying and how much. So you can see the amount here, that's how much they're getting paid per pay period. The employee name, obviously that would be something like uh, Joe or Jane Smith. And then down here, you'll notice this test data. We've just stubbed this in here as test. If you wanted to actually look at what kind of information needs to be in there, obviously that's, that's extremely important. We've got that linked here down in the tutorial. So you can see our ACH file structure document. This is a very long, very detailed document that shows you everything you need to know about what type of data goes into each um, line of the record. So this is something important for you to, to take a look at. But let's go ahead and get started on uh, building out this, this file. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is start the project because uh, our team has worked hard on all this stuff and it's always nice to see those stars roll in. So we'll go ahead and get started by cloning this. So get clone. All right, I use a password because it's good OPSEC. All right, so now we're gonna CD into the project. See each node example. And then we're gonna make sure that we've got Docker running locally. And first, let's look at what our tutorial says. Uh, we're gonna need to run make. So if you don't have make already installed on Mac, uh, you're gonna need to make sure that you've got Xcode tools installed because that's what um, make comes with. So I'll just run make here. All right. That's going to run a little build script that we've got started. Does a few things. Um, and then once that's done, done building, uh, it looks like we've created our image. So then we'll go ahead and just run Docker compose up. All right, looks like we started our app. And then it looks like we got it. So we created a file here. You can see that a file was created. There's the ID. So that's returning that just to let us know that we've seen the ID here. And then let's go back and we can actually take a look at that file by going to our local host 8080 slash files. And there it is. There's that file. You can see the, the service code. There's our employee name. And that's it. That's everything you need to do to get started in creating a NACHA compliant ACH file using this node directory. If you've got any questions, of course, please reach out to us on Slack. Uh, just go to move.io and you should be able to find our Slack channel from there. If you're not already part of it, you can always reach out to me and I'll make sure to help you with any questions that you have. Thanks for taking part of this tutorial 
and looking forward to seeing you on the Slack channel. Thanks, everybody.